test with the protein what are the replacer as isn't it what are the what is this this is in live stream okay uh what are this particular uh, repressor and activator proteins are isn't it so uh, repressor are nothing but the proteins uh, we have already seen which are controlling the gene expression or which are uh, reducing the gene expression whereas the second sort of proteins those are called the activator proteins which are increasing the which are responsible for increasing the gene expression which are responsible for increasing the gene expression isn't it so in order to initiate the transcription Uh, how your E. coli RNA polymer is mostly associated with one of the small num small uh, factors. Those are called the sigma factor. We have seen that. But it, so in last class we have seen this particular sigma factor which functions as the initiation factor, which functions as the initiation factor. Isn't it? So the most common one in bacterial cell is the sigma protein. I have told you. I have explained that last class we have seen the different sort of sigma protein. the factors and which are important for you people uh, from your exam point of view from uh, your exam point of view also this sigma 17 were very was very much important isn't it so the most common bacterial sigma factor is the 17 one isn't it which is associated with expression of gene what what was the role of this particular sigma factor sigma factor is a component of your rna polymerase sigma factor kya hota hai aapke rna polymerase ka ek component hai it is a sub component of your rna or sub unit of uh, your rna polymerase we have told it as a co factor isn't it its role is to recognize the promoter region where to start maine bola tha aap logo ko where dna sequence to bahut bada hota hai dna strand to bahut bada hota hai aapka so from where to start start the transcription so that particular region promoter region minus 10 and minus 35 region how it has been recognized so that recognition part has been carried out by this particular sigma factor and sigma 17 is the most common factor hai na aur ye agar ye jo gene expression aapko regulate karna hai na that that is the interplay between the these particular uh, activator or repressor proteins and rna polymerase so several other less abundant sigma factors are also there we have seen sigma 28 sigma 32 in last class wasn't it so those are also there which are recognized by different sequences from the sequences matlab minus 10 or minus 35 region jo hai wo different hote hai unke isn't it now we are seeing the uh, lac operon so we'll be going towards the uh, lactose isn't it so lac and tryptophan operons are there lactose operon is the degradation pathway uh, operates in induction isn't it lactose is what lactose is nothing but the sugar so sugar ka kya hona chahiye degradation hona chahiye isn't it sugar will be degraded so it operates to induction hum logo ne do baat se dekhe the induction dekha tha aur repression dekha tha isn't it if you recall then uh, this particular lactose but it works through induction when uh, whenever there is a inducer that is beta galactose matlab medium mein jab kabhi lactose present hoga ya to lactose aayega agar pond mein hai suppose bacteria aur pond mein lactose sugar available ho gayi isn't it if there is in pond there is availability of this particular lactose sugar sugar then that lactose sugar itself act as a inducer isn't it through uh, and it will activate the activity of beta galactosidase isn't it so uh, when inducer beta galactoside prevents the repression from binding to its operator doesn't it so ye kya karta hai ki uska jo repressor hota hai usko operator site ko bind hone nahi deta hai and through that only it will be uh, this is the diagram if you are able to see uh, here if you see uh, this is a promoter this is a operator Isn't it? So, if you are able to uh, see this uh, particular uh, three things together, move it to here. Okay, this is a repressor gene, this is a promoter, and this is an operator. Isn't it? And these are the structural gene. This is a typical structure of your uh, lac operon, or you can say the lactose operon. Lactose is what? Lactose is nothing but the sugar. So, lactose sugar ke degradation ke liye jo operon kam karta hai that. Uh, operon is called the lac operon so in this particular uh, structure is having three typical uh, structural genes uh, z y and a uh, lac z is coding for beta galactosidase whereas uh, lac y is coding for beta uh, sorry the beta galactosidase permeates whereas uh, lac a is coding for uh, beta galactosidase transacetylase isn't it so these are the three genes coding for uh, which are having three different functions and z y or a 
ये जो है दीज आर हैविंग थ्री डिफरेंट फंक्शन बट दिस थ्री जीन्स आर केप्ट अंडर द सिंगल रेगुलेटरी एलिमेंट तो व्हाट इज द रेगुलेटरी एलिमेंट अंडर द सिंगल प्रमोटर और वी कैन से प्रमोटर एंड ऑपरेटर इजेंट इट एक ही प्रमोटर के अंडर इन पर्टिकुलर जीन्स को रखा जाता है इजेंट इट सो दिस इज द टिपिकल स्ट्रक्चर नाउ आई विल टेक दिस पर्टिकुलर वट इज एक्जैक्टली हैपनिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो वी हैव सीन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंड्यूसर बीटा गैलेक्सीडेज प्रिवेंट दी रिप्रेसर फ्रॉम बाइंडिंग टू ऑपरेटर तो क्या होता है उस पर्टिकुलर लाइफ ओपेरा में विल आई विल एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द डायग्राम अगेन व्हेन वी विल रीचिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर साइड बट जो ये इंड्यूसर होता है इट प्रिवेंट्स द रिप्रेसर फ्रॉम बाइंडिंग टू द ऑपरेटर एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एंड ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द लाइग्रीन लाइग्रीन देन प्रोड्यूसेस द बीटा गैलेक्सीडेज व्हिच इज द एंजाइम दैट मेटाबॉलाइजेस बीटा गैलेक्सीडेज सो आपका जो लैक्टोज शुगर है उसको ब्रेक डाउन करने के लिए इस पर्टिकुलर एंजाइम की जरूरत होती है दिस पर्टिकुलर एंजाइम is required for breaking down your lactose sugar so that lactose sugar can be um, in this particular enzyme can be induced by that particular uh, 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 this particular product isn't it whereas in case of tryptophan operon isn't it this is about the uh, uh, what we can say the degradation pathway whereas there is a second uh, sort of uh, operon that is uh, called the tryptophan operon tryptophan is nothing but one of your amino acid isn't it tryptophan is what tryptophan is nothing but one of your amino acid uh, which is a biosynthesis pathway which operates by repression isn't it matlab jab kabhi aapke cell mein zarurat hai whenever there is a need of this particular amino acid in a cell this uh, uh, operon will be switch on whereas uh, under normal condition when there is no need of this particular thing it will be under a repressed condition matlab wahan pe expression नहीं होता है इट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर दैट्स वाई दिस पर्टिकुलर ओपेरॉन इज कॉल्ड दी रिप्रेस कंडीशन एंड दी देर इज ट्रिप्टोफैन विच एक्ट एज ए को रिप्रेसर मतलब जब कभी ट्रिप्टोफैन मीडियम में प्रेजेंट होगा दिस पर्टिकुलर ओपेरॉन विल नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस और एक्सप्रेशन विल बी कंटिन्यूसली स्विच ऑफ प्रेजेंट इट सो दिस इज अलेक्ट्रो यू नो दी इलेक्ट्रोज इज द शुगर It is disaccharide sugar, isn't it? This particular disaccharide sugar has been. Uh, this particular uh, needs to be broken down for its uh, metabolism, isn't it? Means not the metabolism, it is the catabolism, isn't it? So to metabolize the sugar or catabolize the sugar, uh, this particular bond needs to be broken down, isn't it? Glycolysis to get done, if you want to get ATP produced, so for that uh, you need to break down this particular. Uh, just wait for few seconds there is some technical glitch am i audible i think i am yes sir yes sir fine so uh, lactose sugar is an example of uh, disaccharide doesn't it so what happens is that uh, this uh, this is a disaccharide so you need to uh, separate this or break down this particular sugar into uh, six carbon sugar doesn't it uh, for the sake of uh, glycolysis or for the production of you can say uh, the um, atp isn't it so uh, this sugar is metabolized into the six means this particular sugar will be uh, went for will go for this particular glycolysis isn't it so for breaking of such bond there is a enzyme that is called beta galactosidase isn't it so beta galactosidase enzyme is uh, breaking the this particular beta galactoside linkage in this particular lactose and converting this particular uh, disaccharide into the monosaccharide one is the lactose uh, sorry glucose and galactose glucose and galactose isn't it so that's why we are learning this particular method so this is for what to consume this means if that bacteria is going to consume this particular sugar then it needs to metabolize that particular sugar isn't it so it's got catalysis karna hai ya to usko consume karna hai to usko is particular sugar ko monosaccharide mein convert karne ke liye ye enzyme sabse jyada important hota hai so this enzyme that is called beta galactosidase is very much important plays very much important role for uh, the degradation of such a uh, sugar isn't it so uh, we are, we are going to uh, check the expression of such a beta galactosidase enzyme in this particular condition isn't it so in addition to that this particular uh, what we can say beta galactosidase pathway there are certain inducer inducer means for 
which induces the expression of gene which induces the expression of gene so inducer molecule is very much important so this particular iptc iso propyl beta d thio galactosidase iptc is it is called it is the gratuitous inducer it is a gratuitous inducer so it is a molecule that induces the enzyme synthesis ye kya karta hai enzyme synthesis increase karta hai it it increases the synthesis of enzyme but uh, are not getting metabolized means are not getting degraded that that particular enzyme the such inducers are called uh, the gratuitous inducer these are the artificial one whereas uh, uh, the uh, natural one is nothing but your beta galactosidase sorry not sidase beta galactoside isn't it so that uh, thio galactoside acts as the inducer but this is a gratuitous inducer that has been used in artificial synthesis uh, or we can say the uh, most of the blue if, if you people are aware about the blue white screening blue white screening agar aap logo ko yaad hogi ya to aap ne kisi ne padha hoga so that particular blue white screening uses this particular iptc if some some of you people have been transforming or working with the recombinant dna technology or transformation and cloning sort of experiment so in that blue white screening is there so i this iptc is used there for blue white screening for induction of the expression for induction of the expression isn't it so such a inducer are called the gratuitous inducer isn't it so uh, coming towards the mechanism of this particular lac operon when cells of e coli are grown in absence of beta galactoside there is no need of beta galactosidase agar medium mein aapka lactose present hai hi nahi isn't it agar wahan pe substrate hi present nahi hai to is particular enzyme ki koi zarurat nahi hoti hai whenever there is no sugar or no substrate is present then such enzymes are no more required there isn't it so in that case what happens is that this they contain very few molecules of this particular enzyme means such genes are under very very rare uh, expression will be there for such a gene isn't it but whenever substrate will appear in the medium whenever the uh, substrate will appear in the uh, medium then what happens is that such a uh, as soon as the substrate is added the enzyme activity appears very rapidly so enzyme activity kahan se aayegi enzyme pehle produce karna padega enzymes are hot enzymes are nothing but the proteins and these proteins has been produced from the rna and rna are nothing but the product of your transcription from the dna isn't it so in, in, in short it is what it is nothing but the expression of that particular gene so expression both fast hold man switch on hota hai aur switch off bhi kiya jata hai when it is switch off when there is no requirement of such enzyme but when it is switch on when there is a requirement of such enzyme so under suitable condition this particular beta galactosidase can account for 5 to 10% of the total soluble proteins from this particular bacteria and if substrate is removed from the medium abhi theek hai ki substrate aa gaya usko degrade karne ke liye enzyme chahiye the isn't it so enzymes needed for degradation of that particular substrate lekin uh, substrate khatam ho gaya medium mein se so uh, again these enzymes are no longer required so there is uh, this gene regulation gene has been regulated means what the expression of such genes will be stopped Isn't it? उस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट एंजाइम की जरूरत नहीं है तो उसके एम आर एन ए की जरूरत नहीं है तो उसके एक्सप्रेशन को स्टॉप किया जाता है देन दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी ऑफ सच एंजाइम विल बी स्टॉप रैपिडली एंड इट हैज ओरिजिनली स्टार्टेड है ना सो दिस इज टिपिकल डायग्राम आई विल नॉट बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू पीपल इन डिटेल दिज आर दी जिन दैट विल बी गोइंग टू सी वेन आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू दी मैकेनिज्म इजेंट इट सो द रोल ऑफ सक्सेल जिन्स ऑफ लैक ओपर आई हैव ऑलरेडी ब्रिफ्ट यू वेन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द डायग्राम Isn't it? So three types of genes are there. Lac Z gene is there, Lac Y gene is there, and Lac A gene is there. So a lot of uh, exams uh, are uh, asking you uh, in MCQ type of question, uh, what what does this particular Lac Y code for, or what is the function of this particular Lac Y gene, or Lac A gene, or Lac Z gene? So you people should be able to answer that. We'll be going to address in this particular slide, isn't it? So Lac Z codes for the enzyme that is called the beta galactosidase. Full active form is tetramer of uh, 500 kilo dalton. No need to remember this particular molecular weight, but you should remember this function. So, what is the role of this particular beta galactosidase? Like this gene, what produces it? It produces enzyme that is called beta galactosidase. Understand? Okay. So, this beta galactosidase. What is the role of this particular beta galactosidase enzyme? The enzyme breaks the beta galactoside into its component sugar. Understand? Okay. Lactose is cleaved into glucose and galactose. तो जो लैक्टो शुगर है उसको ब्रेक करने का काम कौन करता है ये पर्टिकुलर शुगर ये पर्टिकुलर एंजाइम करता है 
what is the name of that particular enzyme beta galactosidase so that that enzyme has been coded by this particular gene that is called lagzi that is called the lagzi gene isn't it so lagzi gene jo hai ye beta galactosidase ko code karta hai so what is the role of this particular beta galactosidase to break or to cleave the lactose sugar uh, at that particular beta uh, glycosidic linkage isn't it so this is the role of lagzi gene then the second structural gene present there is the lac y gene what is the role of lacvizin lacvizin codes for a beta galactosidase permease is it beta galactosidase permease and uh, a mem uh, member membrane bound uh, protein which transport the beta galactoside into this cell matlab aapke medium mein jo bahar outside jo present hota hai aapka lactose isn't it so usko transport karne ka kaam kon karta hai ye particular beta galactosidase permease karta hai medium mein to present hai lekin wo cell mein to aana chahiye na andar so it needs to enter the cell so that entry of that particular lactose or beta galactose uh, beta galactose uh, has been uh, carried out by this particular sort of protein these are nothing but the beta galactoside permease isn't it and the third sort of uh, structural gene that is nothing but the lac a gene which codes for the beta galactoside transacetylase which codes for the beta galactoside transacetylase which is an enzyme that transfers an acetyl group from acetyl coa to the beta galactose for activation in uh, inactivation it is having major role is it so trans acetyl acetylation reaction has been carried out by such like gene product isn't it so uh, these are the three genes we have seen the function of this particular three gene so now like zy genes are transcribed into a single mrna so jab transcription hota hai to iska ek hi ye teenon bhi gene ka single mrna hota taiyar hota hai and this particular mrna is then sequentially translated into the protein isn't it central dogma humne dekha tha kal so usme kya hota hai ki mrna synthesis sequence at a time hota hai lekin translation jo hota hai that is uh, in the sequential manner manner isn't it so thus this induction causes appearance of beta galactosidase permease and transacetylase in that particular order so isme pehla gene kaun sa hai lac g gene present hota hai structural gene mein then y hota hai then a hota hai isn't it तो पहले कौन सा ट्रांसलेट होगा लैक्सी जिन का ट्रांसलेशन होगा मतलब लैक्सी प्रोटीन का सिंथेसिस होगा फिर इसका प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस होगा एट द टाइम ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन वाई लैक वाई और लैक ए सो इन दैट ओरिएंटेशन दिस विल बी ट्रांसलेट और वी कैन से नॉट ट्रांसलेट दैट ट्रांसलेटेड ट्रांसक्रिप्शन का टुगेदर होता है समझ ठीक सो दिस इज अ टिपिकल स्ट्रक्चर इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन व्हाट वी हैव सीन इज दैट लैक लैक आई जीन होता है व्हिच इज व्हिच एक्ट्स एज अ रिप्रेसर so this repressor protein will come and bind to the operator region it will come and bind to the operator region iska operator region se binding hone ki wajah se kya hota hai ki ye yahan pe transcription nahi hone deta hai kyunki aapka rna polymerase kahan baithega yahan pe baithega promoter pe isn't it it will be situated at the promoter region but it needs to move forward it needs to be moved forward humne video bhi dekha tha transcription ka isn't it so in that video video what we have seen is that it needs to be moved in forward direction doesn't it so uh, that uh, needs to be a moved ahead but this inhibitor will not allow it to move ahead this inhibitor will not allow it to move ahead and uh, it will not uh, uh, allow the transcription will be uh, there doesn't it so this repressor repressor binds to the operator region and it prevents the transcription of z y and a gene doesn't it so now the major hurdle is that if you want the expression you needs to remove this particular repression repressor isn't it so uh, under normal condition uh, this is the uh, normal phenomena isn't it that is the repression will be always there isn't it but whenever the lactose comes in the medium this beta galactoside that acts as a uh, inducer that itself acts matlab jo substrate hota hai it itself acts as a inducer and it will come and it will bind to this particular repressor protein it will bind to this particular repressor protein and uh, isko bind hone ki wajah se due to binding of this particular repressor protein uh, to this particular uh, repressor uh, inducer protein to repressor protein uh, this uh, prevent the binding from uh, operator region aur iske wajah se ye yahan pe free hota hai aur free hone ki wajah se so due to uh, unavailable means this will be available for your rna polymerase and your rna polymerase will come and bind here and it will transcribe this particular mrna this it will transcribe this particular mrna aur mrna agar yahan pe banta hai so what will happen 
from this mrna there is a synthesis of proteins that is called the translation so mrna will be translated into the uh, protein this particular mrna will be translated to form a particular protein so this proteins are nothing but the enzymes this proteins are nothing but the enzymes will be going to uh, metabolize your lactose sugar those will be going to metabolize your lactose sugar isn't it so uh, this is how your uh, lactose sugar has been uh, metabolized and this is how your lac operon works this is how your lac operon works isn't it so the lac genes are controlled by negative regulation and they are transcribed and list turn off by the regulator gene or regulator protein isn't it so ye jo lac gene hote hain it will be continuously regulated or continuously switch on until and unless it will be switched off until and unless it will be switch off isn't it so they they are transcribed unless turned off by regulator protein and the transcription of such a lac z y a gene is controlled by a regulator protein which is synthesized by a lac gene so yahan pe agar aap dekh pa rahe hoge so this was lac gene isn't it so this particular lac gene will be going to control the expression of such a gene isn't it so that's why it is called the regulator protein or regulator gene isn't it so ye lac gene jo hota hai this is the example agar aapko exam mein pucha jata hai कौन सा यू विच इज विच अमाउंट ऑफ फॉलोइंग इज द टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रेगुलर रेगुलेटर प्रोटीन तो लैक आई लैक ए लैक जेड लैक ए आपको उसमें ऑप्शन में अगर प्रेजेंट होगा जेड वाई ए भी हो सकता है तीन चार ऑप्शन है आपके पास में एक है जेड एक है वाई एक है ए और लैक आई तो यू नीड्स टू चूज लैक आई लैक आई इज अ रेगुलेटर प्रोटीन Isn't it? आपको स्ट्रक्चरल जीन पूछा जाता है देन यू नीड्स यू कैन चूज अमंग जेड वाई ए Isn't it? लेकिन एग्जाम में जो सवाल पूछे जाते हैं ना तो उल्टे भी कभी पूछे जाते हैं सो देर आर सर्टन निगेटिव क्वेश्चन इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन विच अमंग फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एंड वट वी कैन से इज द स्ट्रक्चरल जीन एजेंट इट सो ये अगर चार ऑप्शन हो गए देन यू शुड चूज दिस पर्टिकुलर लैकाई जीन एजेंट इट तो लैकाई इज लोकेटेड एडजस्टेंस टू स्ट्रक्चरल जीन बट इट कॉम्प्रोमाइजेज ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट ट्रांसक्रिप्शन विथ इट्स ओन प्रमोटर एंड टर्मिनेटर एंड स्पेसिफिक डिफ्यूजेबल प्रोडक्ट क्योंकि लैक क्या क्या है ये जीन है तो इसका भी तो खुद का कुछ प्रमोटर होगा इसका भी तो टर्मिनेटर होगा तो इट इज हैविंग सेपरेट असेंबली एंड इट इज कंट्रोलिंग द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द जीन एक्सप्रेशन इन इट नाउ द थिंग इज दैट इफ देर इज ए म्यूटेशन इफ देर इज ए म्यूटेशन इन सच लैक आई जीन देन वट विल हैपन ये तो हो गए मेकेनिज्म आपका ट्रांसक्रिप्शन का या तो कंट्रोल ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लैक ओपेरॉन हजेंट इट तो वॉट अबाउट दी अनदर सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग की इसमें अगर म्यूटेशन जो कंट्रोल होने वाला है जैसे इफ यू 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 अंडरस्टूड दिस देन यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैंसर इज देयर सो इन कैंसर वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट देर इज अ लॉस ऑफ कंट्रोल ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑनकोजीन इज इट इट ऑनकोजीन विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कॉजिंग दी cancer so the uh, regulation of that particular oncogene has been uh, uh, out of control isn't it so uh, same condition is there if this particular lacai gene lacai gene ke agar gene expression mein agar control karne wala jo gene hai usme hi agar mutation hota hai to then what will happen a mutation that inactivates the regulator causes the structural genes to remain in express condition agar is particular lacai gene mein mutation hota hai तो दो तरह का म्यूटेशन हो सकता है एक तरह का म्यूटेशन विच इनएक्टिवेट द रेगुलेटर विच कॉजेज द स्ट्रक्चरल जीन टू रिमेन इन एक्सप्रेस कंडीशन वेयर एज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लैक आई इज कॉल्ड लैक रिप्रेशर बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स फंक्शन इट प्रिवेंट्स द एक्सप्रेशन बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स फंक्शन इट प्रिवेंट्स द एक्सप्रेशन प्रजेंट इट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चरल जीन हैज बीन कंट्रोल्ड प्रजेंट इट so lacca is very much important for control of gene expression and if you didn't understood anything in this particular uh, lack of error you can ask otherwise i will go ahead with the next topic i will go ahead with the uh, if there is a glucose present this is about the lactose kyunki humne sirf lactose ka scenario dekha hai what about if in that same medium glucose is present then what will happens to this is it but if you don't understood this then you that will be more complex for you people to understand the mechanism of how glucose is controlling the gene expression isn't it so kisi ko agar isme kuch doubt hoga to puch sakte hai otherwise i will go towards the next slide i will be giving you few seconds if if you are query you can uh, put in the chat box or you can uh, ask me by unmuting yourself i'll be checking your chat box If 
if you have queries you can put in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask so understood how this particular like of plan works then i will move ahead uh, with the further part of this particular doesn't it so like i we have seen so repressor are the proteins that binds to operator sequences which overlap or lie adjacent to the promoter and binding of the repressor uh, to the operator which inhibits the transcription initiation doesn't it so dna binding activity uh, of this particular uh, mole bacterial repressor is modulated by small effector molecules those are called the inducer jo humne uh, lactoferon ke case mein dekha tha so those are nothing but you are the group uh, uh, sorry the lactose molecule itself isn't it this allows the bacteria to regulate the transcription of specific genes in response to changes in the concentration of various nutrients in environment isn't it so uh, this is a typical diagram how this particular uh, your operator is binding uh, isn't it operator binding of this particular repressor and uh, removal of this particular repressor uh, happening that that is a typical representation representation of it isn't it if you see here uh, this is in uh, reverse orientation if you see here this is the lacai lacai gene present this is the dna so it is going to translate the rna and this particular rna is going to produce the protein so this is a monomer protein repressor protein monomer repressor protein doesn't it so uh, this monomer won't be going to bind here in the operator site that monomer won't be going to bind here at operator site so it is in tetramer tetra means one means what yeah, it is having four copies it required to produce the four copies this four copies will be going to bind at this particular operator region and it will be going to control the expression of gene it will be going to control sorry it will be going to control the expression of this particular gene so such a tetramer binds to the operator and blocks blocks the transcription now the second story is that we need to remove this particular uh, what we can say the uh, repressor isn't it so uh, the uh, this particular reaction is the allosteric one uh, where uh, this particular tetramer has been removed by this particular because if you recall the biochemistry or aap logo mein se kisi ne biochemistry padha hoga so allosteric interaction is uh, there isn't it so this particular tetramer binding and removal is uh, as good as that of your what we can say is uh, the allosteric reaction where uh, the repressor and inducer uh, are repressor is the tetramer of identical subunit which codes which coded by the lacai gene and has two binding sites one each of the operator and the inducer isn't it so iske liye kya hota hai ki jo operator aur inducer ke liye do matlab dna ko binding matlab operator means what dna sequence isn't it aur dna ko bind karne ke liye bhi ek site present hoti hai aur second site hoti hai as like that of the allosteric enzymes mein jo present hoti hai so second site is also present there where this particular inducer is getting bound isn't it one for operator binding the second site is for inducer binding i will be showing you in this particular slide isn't it if you see so this is the site this is one of the site that is for your uh, what we can say the dna or operator binding where are this particular site isn't it are for your inducer binding are for your inducer binding so those sites so these may uh, present so these sites are for operator and inducer binding so binding of inducer changes the conformation of this particular repressor Isn't it? So inducer के bind होने की वजह से क्या होता है कि there is a conformational change, there is a conformational change in such a way that this particular protein or that particular structure has been changed and uh, repressor of such a property, uh, uh, its operator binding site are changed. Isn't it? So इसके वजह से क्या होता है कि ये जो operator के binding ability जो होती है इसकी वो change हो जाती है और it won't be able to bind to operator. isn't it it won't be able to bind to the operator region isn't it so that's why it has been removed from here isn't it so inducer converts black repressor into the inactive form and that cannot bind to the operator and that's why if it if it won't be able to bind here then this will be free for rna polymerase your promoter and operator region now will be free for the rna polymerase to uh, express or to uh, produce this particular rna isn't it so mrna is translated into all three protein uska kya hota hai so rna polymerase will bind here it will synthesize the mrna and this mrna is having three structural genes isn't it what are those three structural genes 
one is the beta galactosidase the second one is the beta galactosidase permease and the third one is the beta galactosidase trans acetylase isn't it so in such a way there is a expression of uh, this particular uh, genes uh, from the lac operon from the lac operon isn't it uh, again the one uh, part is there that is called the uh, polycystonic isn't it polycyst what is the polycystonic mrna is so it it is having more than uh, one uh, transcription unit it is having more than one transcription unit bahut bada ko sawal puchha jata hai so isme these these are the three transcription unit these are the three transcription unit what are those z y and a z y and a these are three transcription unit because this three will be going to produce three different protein and that's why these are the three transcription unit which will be going to so this the three different proteins so such a sort of mrna is called polycystonic mrna and a polyribosome is also one concept is there that is called what is polyribosome so this is the typical example of your polyribosome so number of ribosomes which are attached to a single mrna are called polyribosomes isn't it so if you see the ek jo particular gene hai it has been as any hota hai ki ek copy hai to uske ek hi copy hai protein banega is it it is not necessary from single copy of your mrna is getting translated to produce single copy of your protein isn't it so if say multiple proteins bhi ban sakte if you see this particular this these, these are uh, represented in different color okay this 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 the purple yellow and the green one isn't it so the purple is nothing but the product of lac z that is nothing but the beta galactosidase isn't it the yellow one are the product of your lactose permeans beta galactosidase permeans isn't it whereas the third the green one are the product of the thiol galactoside trans acetylase thiol galactoside trans acetylase so this is a protein synthesis so uh, the synthesis of this particular beta galactosidase uh, is synthesized in higher rates or protein synthesis or translation rate is higher in case of beta galactosidase whereas the rate of translation is comparatively lower in case of uh, permease as well as trans acetylase why so because this particular enzyme is required for degradation of such thing whereas these are required in lesser amount these are required in lesser amount that might be permease or that might be your trans acetylase so that's why translation of such proteins will be in the lesser amount isn't it so this is how it is uh, uh, there and this is the concept of i have told, told you the polis what is polycystonic uh, mrna and what is the polyribosome unit so this is a typical structure and uh, uh, not only this though this rna are expressed in same number so rna will be produced in the same number same copies isn't it but it will be translated differentially so uh, that genes will be translated in the various number variable numbers uh, number of genes can be produced from this particular transcription unit from this particular transcription unit so uh, this is again the different you can you, you people can say it, it like your differential expression so uh, this 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 also happens in the prokaryotic system okay so uh, as i told you if there is a mutation in this particular control gene then what happens if there is a mutation in this particular controlling unit that is lac i was there isn't it then what will happen so there are two types of mutation so there there are two sort of mutation will happen if uh, what are those that will be going to see in detail in this particular slide so the promoter and operator are identified by cis acting mutation so what are the cis acting mutations are the lac i code for the repressor identified by the mutation that eliminate the trans acting product whereas the mutation that affect the expression of structural genes and map outside them from uh, into uh, in two color classes this may be either abolishes the expression of operon or which causes the upregulation of the expression agar isme mutation hota hai isn't it so that mutation how which sort of mutation is that so one is the abolish, which abolishes the expression matlab jahan pe expression operon ka expression hi band ho jayega that sort of mutation will be there and second sort of mutation is there which is which causes the unregulated expression matlab jo regulation hai switching on and switching off wohi usse chala jayega so that sort of mutation is called unregulated expression so mutants that cannot be expressed are called the uninducible so i said mutants that don't express or where the there is abolishment of the expression such mutants are called the uninducible whereas the uh, continued expression of gene uh, which is called the 
एक्सप्रेशन मतलब वहां पे कंटिन्यूस एक्सप्रेशन होता रहेगा एंड सच ए म्यूटेशन म्यूटन आर कॉल्डिटिव म्यूटन मीन दैट आर अंडर वी कैन से अनरेगुलेटेड एक्सप्रेशन विल बी देयर सो दिस टू सॉर्ट ऑफ रेगुलेशन आर देयर and through that uh, this particular repression uh, will occur there isn't it so repressor cannot bind me so how it happens is that uh, if you see there, there is no inducer in this particular case kyunki humne abhi do slide pehle jo diagram dekhi thi usme aapne dekha hoga so inducer was there uh, which is uh, making the conformational changes to it now what happens is that in this particular case here is a mutation sorry this this position will be having mutation so it won't be able to bind to the its operator region doesn't it it won't be able to bind to the operator region so if me agar mutation hota hai to bhi operator ko bind nahi hoga agar operator pe upar agar aapki mutation ho gaya then also it won't be able to bind then again it won't be able to bind to this particular region so due to that repressor cannot bind to the mutant operator region and there is continuous transcription there is a continuous transcription of this particular mrna और कंटिन्यूस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन होने के बाद में क्या होगा उसका ट्रांसलेशन होता है होगा तो इट मीन वॉट जीन एक्सप्रेशन विल बी ऑलवेज ऑन जीन एक्सप्रेशन विल बी ऑलवेज ऑन क्योंकि इसको कंट्रोल करने वाला कौन था ये पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट था इट एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट एट ऑल वर्किंग बिकॉज ऑफ म्यूटेशन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर साइट दैट बाइंडिंग साइट क्योंकि ये जीन को एक्सप्रेशन जीन एक्सप्रेशन को कंट्रोल करने वाला पार्ट था लैक आए आपका लेकिन लैक आए वहां पे कंट्रोल करने वाले पोजिशन पे बाइंड ही नहीं कर सकता है अगर वो वहां पे बाइंड ही नहीं कर सकते तो जिन एक्सप्रेशन को कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकता है तो ड्यू टू दैट देर दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल बी देर विल कंटिन्यूस एक्सप्रेशन तो दिस कंटिन्यूस एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कंस्टिट्यूटिव एक्सप्रेशन बहुत से एग्जाम में आपको पूछा जाता है इफ देर इज अ म्यूटेशन पर्टिकुलरली सी एस आर में सी सेक्शन में इसके ऊपर एक हाथ सवाल आता है doesn't it so if there is a mutation in an operator region what will happen what will be the result this such a sort of questions will be asked in your csr exam even in your esrb examination esrb net examination such questions will be asked so aapko answer dete aana chahiye agar operator region mein agar mutation hota hai so there will be continuous expression of such a gene there will be continuous expression of such a gene now the second condition is that if there is a mutation in this particular position uh, which was this particular position this particular position is binding of inducer hai na forget about this particular slide i think that's why i have not included okay so if this particular position this particular position mein agar mutation hota hai this is a site for binding of your inducer hai na ye normal hai suppose i will consider this operator is normal one doesn't it this operator region is the normal one एंड दिस इंड्यूसर इज ऑल्सो नॉर्मल वन उसमें कुछ म्यूटेशन नहीं हुआ है लेकिन इसमें जो इंड्यूसर बाइंडिंग साइट है उसमें म्यूटेशन हुई है और इस तरह से म्यूटेशन है कि यहाँ पे इंड्यूसर बाइंड ही नहीं कर सकता है तो अगर यहाँ पे इंड्यूसर बाइंड नहीं करेगा तो ये कंटिन्यूसली जाके कहाँ पे बाइंड करेगा ये आपके ऑपरेटर रीजन पे जाके बाइंड करेगा और ऑपरेटर रीजन पे अगर ये बाइंड होकर रहता है तो आपका एक्सप्रेशन वहां पर जिनका होगा ही नहीं तो इट अबोलिश द एक्सप्रेशन तो जिन एक्सप्रेशन विल बी अबोलिश वहां पे जिन एक्सप्रेशन होगा ही नहीं दैट इज दैट इज टोल्ड यू अबाउट दैट दैट इज अन इंड्यूसिबल और इट विल बी देर विल बी नो जीन एक्सप्रेशन विल बी देयर सो दीज आर द टू कंडीशन एंड दिस हैज बीन आस्क इन लॉट ऑफ एग्जाम ये जो क्वेश्चन है ये बहुत से एग्जाम्पल है एग्जाम में पूछा जाता है कि म्यूटेशन अगर उसमें होता है तो कहाँ पे म्यूटेशन क्योंकि उस सवाल में कभी कभी सेफ एम ए चार मार्क्स के लिए सवाल आता है Isn't it? So in that case, our exam you need to uh, check first whether it has been asking for the mutation in operator region or it has been asking for mutation in the, this particular inducer uh, sorry the inducer binding site of your repressor. So repressor may mutation hai ya operator may mutation hai ye pehli thing to be apko dekhne ke liye sawal mein agar agar ab dekhte ho then you need to check whether that mutation is present uh, at what site and and which sort of mutation is there. अगर वो आपको समझ में आ गया तो देन यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड लॉट ऑफ एग्जाम्स आर आस्किंग दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो दैट्स आई हैव हाइलाइटेड दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट हियर फॉर न्यू पीपल ओके सो देर आर फ्यूज लाइक आई थिंक लेफ्ट सो एक्टिवेटर एंड रिप्रेसर कंट्रोल ऑफ लैक ऑफ रन सो लैक ऑफ रन इन इकोला इज अंडर दी बोथ निगेटिव एज वेल एज दी पॉजिटिव कंट्रोल ऑल्सो सो एज आई टोल्ड यू पीपल अबाउट दी रोल ऑफ ग्लूकोज इफ देर इज लैक्टोज प्रेजेंट इन द मीडियम then okay but if there is the presence of lactose also and glucose also then what 
why why we need to go for the lactose mechanism, mechanism test isn't it so lactose pathway is no longer required in if they, in medium there is a presence of glucose hai na agar wahan pe single matlab ab jo jisko six carbon sugar kehte ho to glucose hai na so that preferable source of sugar sugar is present in the medium then no need to go for this particular lack of iron so what happens if there is a lack is present lactose is sorry, like lactose is present and glucose is also present so in that particular case what happens is that that will be going to see in this particular part isn't it so uh, when both negative and positive translation is controlled by lack repressor protein and capped respectively so lack to hum logo ne already dekh li dekh liya lack repressor ki activity humne dekh li now we will be going to see the cap activity isn't it that is also called the catabolite active activator protein that is also called the catabolite activator protein isn't it so lack operator codes for a protein required for it transport to the lactose into the cell and to break it down isn't it but jo cap hota hai so cap means catabolite activator protein enables the bacteria to use the alternative carbon sources such as lactose in the absence of glucose in the absence of glucose it would be with full uh, for cap to induce the expression of lack of iron if lactose is not present if lactose is not present and the lack repressor ensures that the lack of iron is cut off in absence of lactose doesn't it so that is the role of this particular thing but now what happens if there is a glucose doesn't it so the lack of iron can be replaced and activated condition when e coli is in an environment that lacks the lactose synthesis of uh, lack mrna is replaced so that energy is not wasted synthesizing the enzymes and the cell cannot use it as i already told you people and in an environment containing both lactose and glucose e coli cell preferentially metabolizes glucose and the central molecule of the carbohydrate metabolism so glucose ko briefly consume kiya jata hai instead of the lactose so lactose is metabolized at high rate only when lactose is present and glucose is largely depleted from the medium lactose is largely depleted from the medium isn't it so jab lactose aur glucose dono bhi hoge to glucose bhi pehle use kiya jayega glucose will be the first product or first priority and then in case of absence of glucose then only lactose will be used isn't it so glucose repletion is the ability of glucose to prevent the use of alternative carbon sources and bacteria use this particular glucose in preference to other carbon sources so if both glucose and lactose are in the medium glucose is metabolized differentially isn't it so exclusion of alternative carbon sources from the cell prevents the expression of the operon coding for the enzymes that metabolizes them so how this will be going to happen that will be going to see in this particular slide isn't it so glucose repletion in e coli involves two mechanism so inducer ex- exclusion so what is this in- inducer exclusion is the ability of glucose to prevent an alternative to be taken up from the culture medium so it won't allow that bacteria to take the alternative from that so uh, beta galactosidase permeates isn't it so it prevents the permeation so this exclude the uh, inducer of the operon coding for the alternative metabolic pathway isn't it so it won't allow that particular gene to be produced means aapka jo permease enzyme hai uska wahan pe translation hone hi nahi deta hai as a result there won't means medium mein present bhi hoga lactose wo cell mein enter nahi karega aur cell mein enter nahi ki kiya isne so glucose will be as such well utilized isn't it a general system of activating many operons is provided by activator protein that is cap which is activated by cyclic amp so cap cyclic amp activates the transcription and acts as a regulator to turn off the alternative metabolic pathway when they become unnecessary because of cell has an un- uh, adequate supply of glucose isn't it so this cap cyclic amp activates the transcription and acts as a regulator to turn off the alternative metabolism which is the alternative mechanism here the lactose one hai na so alternative means what lactose mechanism so jab medium mein glucose nahi tha uske liye tha so this cap cyclic amp is having very major role uh, for control of this particular gene expression in presence of glucose so glucose and lactose level controlling the initiation of transcription of lack of uh, operon through their effects on the lack repressor protein and cap isn't it so it affects uh, through lack repressor protein and cap binding isn't it so the uh, lactose addition increases the concentration of the allo lactose and which binds to repressor protein and removes it from the operator site on dna so remove it from the operator site on dna what is this i'll be explaining you again the lactose addition 
uh, whenever you add the lactose in the medium, the concentration of allo lactose uh, that is nothing which acts as the inducer, isn't it? Which binds to the repressor protein and removes from the operator site on DNA, isn't it? Whereas in case of glucose addition, what happens is that there is a decrease. Concentration of cyclic MP. Cyclic MP decreases with increasing concentration of glucose. There is a re reduction in the concentration of cyclic MP, or we can say the CAMP, isn't it? Because of this, cyclic MP no longer binds to cat protein, and this gene activator protein dissociates from the DNA, turning off the operon. So, the expression enhanced for the cyclic MP or cat complex comes to the top. तो वहां पे ग्लूकोज का कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बढ़ने की वजह से साइक्लिक एमपी का कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कम हो गया और उसके वजह से क्या होता है उसके वजह से जो जीन एक्सप्रेशन जो होता है लैक का वो ऑलरेडी कम हो जाता है इट सो दिस कैप एक्टिवेट द जीन दैट एनेबल इक्वलाइट टू यूज अल्टरनेटिव कार्बन सोर्स व्हेन ग्लूकोज इज देयर एंड इट्स प्रीफर्ड व्हिच इज द प्रीफर्ड कार्बन सोर्स एंड व्हिच इज व्हेन इट इज नॉट अवेलेबल द लैक ऑपरेशन विल बी एक्टिवेटेड वेयर एज द इंक्रीज इन द इंटरसेलुलर सिग्नल इन मॉलिक्यूल दैट इज साइक्लिक एमपी व्हिच बाइंड्स टू कैप प्रोटीन एंड व्हिच एनहांसेस द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ योर लैक ऑपरेशन and that will use the alternative uh, carbon concentration in the cell isn't it thus the expression of the target gene is switch on or off depending on your cyclic amp level in the cell which is high or low so cyclic amp ka concentration jo depend hota hai glucose ke concentration ke upar uske through whether to metabolize that particular glucose whether to go for the glucose metabolism or uh, this particular uh, mechanism uh, lactose mechanism that has been controlled Isn't it? So that will be there, and that needs to be understood. Right? Uh, so this is just in last uh, slide, I think. So where this particular uh, transportation of this particular thing ha happens is that uh, in that particular, uh, it will not allow that uh, particular uh, lactose to enter in the medium. Whereas uh, whenever there is a in, in, uh, uh, this glucose will be increased, glucose concentration will be increased in the. Cell itself will prevent your beta galactose cells or lactose permeate uh, entry into the uh, cell uh, within itself. But when there is no uh, glucose is there or there is lesser concentration of glucose, then this uh, lactose or we can say the uh, lack permeate into होता है. It will allow the uh, this particular uh, to enter into the cell, and this is how it will be uh, expressed in the medium. So. uh that's it uh, i think uh, that will be sufficient uh, it will be further detail but uh, it is better to avoid this particular thing in uh, detail so that will be sufficient uh, topic for you uh, this is a typical structure uh, how this your lactoferon looks like isn't it so this is our minus uh, 10 minus 35 region and this is responsible for your uh, lactoferon so we have seen lactoferon how your genes are getting Expect in case of your uh, this particular uh, positive way of uh, regulation, and if there is a presence of glucose, that also we have seen. This is a typical diagram. How this particular cyclic AMP, uh, uh, cap cyclic AMP is affecting. Uh, I will just briefing you this, and we'll conclude here. Okay. If you see the glucose is present, isn't it? Here the uh, <coughs> cyclic AMP is low, isn't it? Uh, there is no lactose. so no lack uh, mrna will be produced here doesn't it so in case of uh, second case if you are able to see uh, glucose is present that is cyclic amp concentration again low isn't it so cyclic amp and uh, this particular cap binding will not be there then lack concentration means lack operon is expressed but in very little amount doesn't it but whenever there is no glucose is present whenever there is no glucose is present cyclic amp concentration will be high cyclic amp concentration will be higher isn't it so in that case what happens is that there is a binding of this particular cap and cyclic amp here and it will increases it will increases the rate of transcription in much higher means high amount that is called abundant lack mrna will be produced and as a result a uh, lot of proteins of this particular thing will be produced isn't it so at the end of this uh, this particular uh, this is the scenario of uh, if in case of present presence of glucose and in case of absence of glucose how this particular lack of pyrrole is getting regulated so uh, with this i would like to conclude hope so you people have understood you if you have any queries you can ask me otherwise uh, i need to conclude it okay so uh, that's it uh, this is open for you people uh, you people can ask if you have any queries
you can unmute yourself and ask. Okay. Uh, topic is open for discussion. <clears throat> if you have any queries, so please ask to Dr. Shumate sir. I hope you understood properly. So, he given very nice lecture. Please ask, unmute yourself and ask to question. Or otherwise, you can message in chat box. Madam, uh, Sona Poddar, Madam. Hello. I am audible. Yes, sir, audible, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, there is one question. Once uh, so, question. IPT role and working. Okay. Boxer, uh, once please IPTG role and working mechanism. Till that, uh, if anyone else is having the query, we can ask. I will explain that one. IPTG and that is a very good question actually uh, because in a lot of exam it has been asked. Uh, it is a great thing, uh, sir. Since I uh, uh, just <coughs> skip this particular thing uh, in the brief, I will be just explaining this particular part also in detail. Uh, if you are able to, not only IPTG, I will be explaining you the external also. So what happens uh, when uh, this is the natural system? The uh, bacteria super naturally how this particular lactose is getting degraded. So this was the mechanism. So uh, from conversion of lactose to glucose and galactose, this beta galactose adhesive is working. Now in case of uh, blue white screening, as I was explaining, or certain another uh, screening mechanisms, this particular isopropyl beta D iogalactoside, isn't it IPTG? That is also called the gratitude inducer. This induces the expression. Because now you have seen that the lack of it, the lack of it, the repressor, the repressor, to remove, the operator to remove, the work was done by the that work has been done by the this particular inducer. So this is the gratitude inducer. Inducer means what? In normal inducer, the beta galactoside was it acts as an inducer. Inducer means what? It removes that particular repressor from the operator region. It removes that repressor from the operator region. So, ये जो IPTG है, it also removes that particular repressor. लेकिन in what is the difference between in then beta galactoside and this particular uh, this uh, IPTG? So, beta galactoside can be catabolized. Doesn't it? Beta galactoside भी क्या होता है? वो uh, two carbon या तो disaccharide sugar होती है. That can be broken down. That can be broken down, isn't it? Whereas this IPTG is not a disaccharide. If you see the structure of this particular IPTG, no need to remember this structure. But in your mind, this is clear in your mind that this is a this is not a disaccharide sugar. IPTG is not a disaccharide sugar. So that's why it is not a product. That's why it is not an product, isn't it? So it is. It doesn't act like a substrate, and it will not. So this particular is not a way like your substrate. So that's why it will not be consumed. So it will not be broken down. So this IPTG is not the breakdown. So that's why it is called the gratitude inducer. And this ability has been used again in the fluid screening or where the artificial proteins, which are the recombinant proteins produced, where the IPTG is used. Why? For the expression for inducing the expression of that particular gene. For inducing the uh, expression of the genes to produce the larger amount of protein, to produce the larger amount of protein. So that is the role of IPTG. Uh, hope so. You have understood. And if you didn't, then you can ask me again. I will explain. I am ready to explain it again. Is there any question? Is it okay, Takshi? Okay. So, okay. Is there any queries? Other participants? Otherwise, uh, I should uh, conclude this one.
ओके थैंक यू डॉक्टर प्रशांत सिंगोटे सर हाँ सर हाँ इफ दे हैव एनी क्वेरीज ना दे कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी ओवर माय ईमेल आई डी और दे कैन सेंड दी क्वेरीज ओवर देयर यू कैन शेयर द नंबर आल्सो सो आई विल प्रोवाइड टू देम योर ईमेल आई थिंक देर वाज वन देर वाज वन क्वेरी फ्रॉम कुंदन सिंह ही वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द सॉफ्ट कॉपी ऑफ द नोट actually uh, it is advisable to read this particular topic from the book rather than reading from the uh, this particular presentation because present is not a uh, presentation is not a self explanatory intention what i think is that because it is just a short yes, yes. sort of things so your concept will not be clear for your life so that's why it is always advisable to read it from the book for this particular topic if anybody ask me about the this particular operon concept na so you refer this particular uh, by chemistry by leninger very well explained that topic means mm-hmm. even i have explained means rather than i have explained it na it is very well explained uh, written in that particular book you just read those particular diagram na this topic will be clear in your mind and there is means in every exam there is one or two questions on this particular operon concept so uh, you need to read this particular topic from that particular biochemistry book because this is very much important topic from exam point of view every any exam see that may be csr that may be your asrb that may be your uh, grs or srs exam thank you sir thank you monica yes sir you have any queries सुवर्ण पोदार आनंद गौरी you have any queries if there is network issue so you can write your message in chat box hi sir if they are having any queries na they can contact me over my yes 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 i will provide the your contact number and email id in our group sir okay no issue so that will call the uh, yes sir yes sir okay sir thank you very much for uh, accepted our invitation and uh, deliver very nice lecture from two uh, from two days okay so in future we are also expected uh, your lecture on particular this uh, topic sir and uh, i am happy to uh, give the information to you sir so from uh, in this year uh, more than 100 people qualified net examination from the post graduate institute mahatma phule krishi vidyapeeth rao research that's great sir so this is a uh, good platform and uh, maybe so those people who are interested in the uh, net ars examination for preparation so this is a good uh, training program for them and definitely this type of the lecture and uh, experienced person will give the proper information to them and they will prepare accordingly and uh, they may qualify the net or ars examination in future also so thankful for uh, one second from on on, the, on behalf of the organizing committee i very much thankful to you sir for delivering very such a nice lecture sir so thank you thank you, thank you once again okay sir fine okay sir